Hello everybody, welcome to Art with Tracy Ann. Well it's almost Easter and it won't be the same for most of us but I have a little project for you. This Easter card. It's actually a pop-up Easter card. So join me. Take a piece of A4 paper and fold it in half. Then on each of the short edges, measure in about a centimetre and a half. Now I'm going to join those dots using a pair of scissors to score the lines and fold those lines inwards. I'm going to roughly plan out where my design is going to be. So I have one in the center and two smaller shapes on the other side. So on the edge of that center shape, I'm going to fold like it's the beginning of a concertina so that that, that center shape pops out. Then let's do the same with the other two sides by folding each of these sections in half. As you can see the concertina fold happening with each of the designs that I'm going to plan popping out on one of those lines.
when cutting this out don't start from the edge of the paper start from that line that we measured out in the beginning now I'm cutting around the flux and then around the shapes that I drew the two bunnies and the basket the flux kind of holds everything together and that's why I did a row of it in the foreground When you get to the end, again stop when we get to that crease line that we formed in the beginning. Now we can see how that all pops out. I'll just reinforce those folds. Take another piece of A4 paper and fold it in half. This piece can be the cover of your card and you can draw your design there on the front. I'm not going to do that in this instance but I'm still going to glue this section to that piece of blank A4 paper. I just only happen to have this type of glue. A glue stick would do fine but uh, during these times it's not so easy to get out and get new supplies. So only put glue on that section that's going to stick to the back. We don't want to get any glue on the front part that pops out and gently flatten that all down make sure our front piece is popping out now for our cover I'm using a piece of black card I've drawn a border and now I'm writing in gold pen Happy Easter Using a white gel pen, I'm now going to decorate the rest of this card. You can see I'm using some of the same flowers that I did on the inside, just so that it ties the whole design together.
Before sticking my center to the outer part, I'm just measuring around the top and two sides one centimeter. And I'm just going to trim this so that it fits neatly inside the card. I'm leaving the bottom edge because that will need to sit flat, level with the bottom of the black card on the outside. I chose a basket of eggs and bunnies for my design, but you could do anything you like. As long as you follow the same rules of planning out where your patterns are going to be and uh, which things you want to pop out. And there it is. I'll just crease it up again, ready to pop it inside that black card. Just make the bottom edges level. Add some glue. Press that flat. Add glue to the other side. And while that glue's still wet, just adjust that card so it, it sits neatly inside the outer card. And there you have it, a finished pop-up card. I'll provide a list of all the tangles I used in this project down below this video. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Until next week, bye for now. To see more of my videos, click on the links on the screen and don't forget to press that subscribe button.